What are his future political aspirations? Go on, you answer that. The last one. Your, your relationship with... Oh, my relationship with my governor is yeah. excellent. Is excellent. Yeah. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. And uh, he's a brother. He's a brother. That's so close. Yeah. Future aspirations. Uh, his uh, aspirations. Uh, I want to uh, lead... Uh, I want to be a leader if, uh, in the next few years, few years before I retire. Yeah. I intend to retire at the age of 50. That's, so, that's eight years away. Yes. So before I retire, I want to, uh, you know, make a difference. Yeah. Yes. There's a couple of top people who have come from Waji or from Mandela, Mandela right? Yes, yes. N name a couple. Pe uh, prominent people. Prominent people? Yes. Uh, they, we have we have quite a number. We have name one. We have MK, Muhammad Khalif. Muhammad Khalif is a prominent elder, prominent elder. Okay. Uh, we have uh, quite a number, we have quite a number. Uh, my my you know my mentor, my teacher in high school, Abdrizak is Who's still alive. He is TCS, he's from Mandela, he's from Mandela. Yeah. My governor is from Mandela. He's a prominent person too. <laughs> <laughs> Mariam Dupo says, yes. DG09. That's what they call you? Yes. DG09. Mm. Is not an ordinary politician. He is a story of hard work, resilience, and determination. Do you think you were born to do this? When you were raising cows and goats, when you, when you first went to class too, did you think, you know what, in 20 years, in 30 years time, I'm going to be helping my people? No, definitely not. You know, when you're born as a Muslim, we believe that uh, in the womb of your mom, you know, uh, you know, God says, this is your life cycle. This is what you will do and what happens. I believe that as a strong believer. And uh, God had maybe planned, God had planned this for me, for me. But the element of hard work is there. You know, God plans this. But you must work hard. You know, you must be disciplined in terms of what you do, what you do, and it must be godly, it must mm. be godly. Yeah. And uh, I believe uh, through hard work, through discipline, from my training, from my training, and that, you know, uh, inborn uh, discipline. Yeah. Discipline is either instilled or you're born with it, or you're born so, with it. So these people on social media who say that uh, you're a land grabber, what do you tell them? Uh, I would say, Jeff, uh, in Kenyan society or in society, uh, they are the, they are the, those, you know, they query everything. You wear Jeff, you wear this jacket, they will tell you why should, Jack, why should Jeff be wearing this jacket. Mm. So I will say those are, those are people, idlers, who really don't understand what they are saying or what they are doing. And people that want to just sit somewhere and get free, free things. Yeah. Free things. Yeah. Haters are everywhere, my friend. And the only thing they can do is talk about, uh, you know, ill, talk about, you know, Rumors yeah. talk about, uh, you know, bad intentions. You know, talk about. Uh, does does that bother you? It doesn't bother me, yeah, and it does never bother me. Yeah. Yes. You stay. Uh, how do you stay focused? Come again. How do you stay focused? I how stay do you focused stay by. What bothers me is how do I solve the problems uh, facing my people, my people, and uh, and and, and uh, that's how I'm, that's my concern. Yeah. Uh, that's my concern. I don't think about what people say behind me. They can continue Good. saying anything. Natra Abbas. She says yes. We are watching in Mandera. So that fourth television is on now. Yes. <laughs> Someone says, yeah. Bashir Dugal says, it's, Mandera is the most corrupt county in the country. Is that true? It's not. Why would they say this then? It's the people I talked about a few minutes ago, a few minutes ago. Uh, you know, uh, these are people that do not really understand what they're saying or what they're writing. As much as you have a smartphone, as much for a smartphone, nothing to do, nothing to do. Uh, maybe your brother or your, or your mom bought you the smartphone. You write anything that you want. Yeah. Yes. Janet Nandwa says, an inspiring story from grass to grace. There's a different storyline to everyone. DG009, thumbs up. So other than security, we're talking earlier on, health, especially up north, is a huge concern. Huge, major concern. Concern. Women are dying, even giving birth. What are you people doing about it, uh, Jeff? When, when, uh, actually, I would say devolution is a godsend for the people of northern Kenya, or, or, or arid and same arid areas. Uh, if I take a case example from Mandera, 2013, when we came in, the situation was pathetic. We had less than uh, 175 health workers. 
all uh, we had around around uh, 52 uh, health facilities that were, were working beyond 10 percent operationalization so when we moved in it was uh, uh, almost zero the health mm. sector mm. Uh, With the population we had, of a population of, of a million people we have had the highest rate of maternal mortality rate in Mandela. So what we did is, my governor and I said and said we must reverse this situation because we were very passionate about it. That's when we were campaigning, is one of the areas that we said we, move, we are going to turn around, and we said we are going to recruit uh, health personnel. As we speak at the moment, we have over, over 700 health workers uh, in, in Mandela. We have uh, operationalized, uh, you know, 100 uh, percent the existing health facilities from Mandela Referral Hospital, you know, to all the uh, the sub counties, uh, you know dispensaries and and, 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 all, and all of that yeah we have equipped we have provided medical services we have provided you know the, the drugs and non-pharmaceuticals to all of these centers the situation has, has improved tremendously has the first ladies beyond zero campaign has yes. it reached Mandela yes, it has reached Mandela we has it? yes it did we received because we received the health uh, you know at the clinic mm -hmm. we the mobile it. unit yes we are using it Mandela uh, referral hospital referral hospital and uh, I would say the situation is not as it was before and is improving with time. Yeah. But the issue of now uh, ex expertise, because the health workers, uh, you know, most of them are from you know other parts of Kenya, other parts of Kenya. The issue of security is, is hindering because they feel that they are not secure, and others uh, are leaving the job, are leaving the job. The turn, you know, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? The, the rate at which they are leaving the job is very high. Yeah. And uh, that's a problem for us. Otherwise, the, we have managed the situation as a count as a county. Uh, we have we had the first cesarean section in Takaba, which is one of the uh, sub counties in Mandela County. First one since in history. history, since history, since yeah. independence, since independence. First, first, and that was possible through devolution. That was possible through uh, county government, county government. So the situation, at the, as we speak at the moment, is not as it was before. Yeah. Uh, we have said 70 percent improvement improvements. We have a long way to go as well, uh, because of the road network, the terrain, because of the you know uh, other geographical factors. Uh, we cannot compare ourselves to Kiambu or, or Nairobi. Or sure, Nairobi, but sure. We will, we will reach there. In the meantime, you have eight children. Yes. Good Lord. <laughs> are they all in Nairobi? Are, are they in Mandera? Uh, they're all in Nairobi. They're all in Nairobi? Yes. Okay. All right. Wow. <laughs> and you're 42? Yes. I'm trying to do this math. It's very difficult. Yes. But, but we'll leave that for another time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What advice would you give to young people, not just in Mandera County, yes. across the country? Because I mentioned at the top of the show, this, this is a from zero to hero story. Someone who never thought there would be anything. You never thought. You never thought you'd be here, where you are, Deputy Governor of mm -hmm. 009. What do you tell people out there who have no hope, who feel they are marginalized, who feel that they can't go on? What do you tell them? Um, I'll say three things. Three things. One, I will say uh, uh, you must uh, you must work hard in what you are doing. Whatever you are doing, if you are in school, you must make sure that you, you you perform well. Hard work in anything that you do, you must do it to the best of your ability, the best of your capacity, the best of how how, how you can you can do it. That's hard work. Item number two that I will say is you must develop self-reliance skills. Hmm. You know the issue of depending. The parent depending with other people, uh, you know, is not a, a healthy thing because I was able to do it. I was able to take myself to school. I was able to educate myself. I was able to, you know, uh, you know to uh, persevere in, 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 in very harsh conditions yeah. in Kosovo, you know, in, in Kenya Police Training College. You know, it's perseverance, hard work, and you must be godly, you know, you know, as a human being, as a human being. You know, you must say you are creator. You know, you must be prayerful. Yeah. You must be prayerful. And you do these three things, you will, uh, the sky is the limit. Yeah. yeah. If you were offered IG today, since you know you had nine years of experience yes, in yes, the police force, yes, yes, yes. would you take it? Yeah, definitely, yes. You take it? Yes. Seriously? Seriously. It's, it, it's a passion that's in me. You know, if, if I was <laughs> it was to be given that, yes, why not? Why not? Inspector General? Yes, why not? Okay. Yes. So there's nothing you wouldn't do? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Anything that's life changing? Yes. Take it. Mm. Yes. Are your parents still alive? 
My mom is still alive. She's, 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 she's with me. What does she think of what you do? She's happy. Or, or how, you've, how far you've come? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure she's very happy about it. But your grandmother, the one you were yes. cooking for yes. and taking she care on. of. She passed away. My dad passed away. Lad. Oh. Um, uh, yeah. If you were to change any one thing in Mandera County, one thing, what would it be? Security. Security. And security. Mm. Yes. Is it going to change? Uh, that, nothing cannot change. I'm very optimistic that if uh, we put our heads together, if we do more effort, that can be changed. Yeah. Yes. But with things like this, it seems like things will get worse before they can get better. Come again? Al-Shabaab yes. keeps coming back. They keep reappearing in various forms. They keep mutating. I think this is a, glo a global phenomenon. Uh, Al-Shabaab issue, the issue of terror issues is a global phenomenon. But uh, I think our strategies are also not right. As, uh, Handling them, handling them. We must come with uh, you know strategies, better strategies to handle these issues. It can be managed. It can be managed. Uh, it can be managed. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very optimistic that it can be managed, and inshallah, it will be managed. As they say, inshallah, that's right. Do you go speak around schools? Do you go to speak to communities? Do you? Uh, do you do that in Mandera? You know, when we came in, before we came in, during my campaigns, where that school where I went. Sala Primary Sala. School was the worst performing school in Kenya. So one of my, our, my campaign pledge was that that situation must turn around. So when we came in 2014, I took my governor, I told him, gentlemen, we need to go to Sala Primary School because they are the last in, the, in Kenya. And we said we must change this. That was 2013 when they were the last in Kenya. In 2014, we put a lot of efforts, and guess what? They're the best improved school in Kenya. Come on. Yes. Sala? Sala. I've never heard of it. You will, you've heard it of it today. <laughs> <laughs> Most improved school. Most improved school in Kenya. Yeah. After one year. So what we do, my governor is very passionate about education. I'm very passionate about health. So. Education was not only Sala, but Mandera County was the last in 2013. So we said we must turn around that situation. As we speak right now, the situation is not the same. We have support. Education is not a developed function. It's the natural function. Yeah. Our work is early childhood. So we said we are not going to stop that. Mm. We have invested a lot in education. And we have quite a number of, of guys that are qualified to join the university. Yeah. Uh, 2014 2015 wow we're waiting a very positive uh, you know uh, uh, results now and uh, the situation has changed what was the secret what was the turnaround? the secret is is, is that uh, uh, there was a, a disconnect between the ministry and teacher service commission the local teachers were not taking their work seriously we have you know uh, improved that we talked to the teachers we talked to uh, the TC representative in the in the in the, in the county mm. We told them improve the issue of, of, of quality. We gave them other incentives. We introduced you know mock result, mock examinations, inter school competition. Yeah. We have improved. We have introduced co curriculum activities, sporting, as 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 as, as an activity that will improve education, um, and that has improved the situation. Yeah. And they're not burning the schools. No, absolutely not. We have since we came into office, we only had one incident in in Banisa in Banisa. And uh, nothing's happening there. Yeah. Yes. You got one minute. That's your camera. You see that one there? Yes. Talk to your people in Mandera. What do you tell them? Both moving forward. Uh, people of Mandera, I love you. And inshallah, we'll do more uh, to improve our general uh, living conditions in Mandera. We are working on closely with the national government, uh, the issue of security in Lafayette and Mandera will inshallah improve. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ahmed Abdillah says, Abu Muad 74 was accused of being a dictator. How true is that? If he doesn't give relevant examples, I will say he, he, he does, that does not exist. <laughs> but I'm a disciplinarian. <laughs> disciplinarian? Yes. yes. Like your brother? Yes. What did they call your brother? Uh, they used to call him Madra. 
Because he used to punish. <laughs> they call him the murderer. <laughs> yes, he used to punish. He was a very religious man, very religious man. <laughs> but he used to punish them, punish yeah. students so much. He, he never tolerated in discipline. Yeah. Yes. Jeff Guitari says, through hard work and discipline, you will always make it. It's a testament in my deeds and achievements. That's what you said. Mm -hmm. He's quoting you. Abu Muad, Deputy Governor Omar Mohammed Malam. Good luck, man. Thank you so much. Good luck going Thank forward. You. Thank you. All the very best. Thank you. Umetoka huh? Bali, Dugiangu. Abisa. Asante. Na unaenda Bali. Asante. Inshallah. 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 Well done. Very inspiring. Omar Mohammed Malam, Deputy Governor, County Number 009, Mandera County. Twitter handle at Abu Muad. Mine is Akinanga Jeff. The hashtag Omar Polisi. What an inspiration. From zero to hero. From grass to grace. This man has proved that anyone, that's right, any one of us, 43 million people, can be whoever, whatever we want to be. That's what Inspiration Thursdays is all about. If we can inspire just one person tonight, that's good enough for us. Thanks so much for watching. Next week is a new week with new shows, new guests, new themes. But the one thing that's always consistent are those three letters on the keyboard, JKL. Every Wednesday, Thursday, 10 p.m., right here on Kenya's television network, KTN. Thanks for your continued support and watch. Keep watching. And thanks for watching. Good night. Good luck. God bless the people of Mandera County.